Hello, today I want to talk to you about this. This is a JW Pepper Maker Cornet made sometime in the 1880s to maybe early 1900s. Um, I think this is probably more in the early 1890s. The serial number is in the 6000s. Um, it doesn't have any reference to when they won an award at the Chicago Awards Fair. It does reference uh, the shop in Chicago, so that puts it uh, after 18, the early 1890s, and it doesn't reference and Sons, so uh, it could maybe be 1901, but it uh, can't be much more into the 1900s. Um, nice little cornet. Uh, it does have one flaw. There is a crack in the seam in the third valve slide, which I have mended with some silver duct tape. Uh, so that'll seal that up so we can try it out. Um, I have checked this against a tuner, and it is tuned in high pitch. Uh, seems to be about A457, so pretty high. Um, if you pull the main tuning slide out uh, about that far, you can drop it all the way down to A440, but then the intonation on all the other notes gets a little wonky. So we're going to leave it up there at a high pitch for today. Um, I do have some different mouthpieces to try. That gave me a bit of a problem. Um, it came with uh, a Box 7C cornet mouthpiece, um, which I didn't just like the sound of it. It really uh, doesn't resonate well in the lower part of the, the octave there. Um, when you get up a little higher, it gets a little easier. But it really wasn't quite right. It's really a shallow mouthpiece. Doesn't work well. So I went looking for something else. Um, this is a Khan Liberati model. Uh, that would be a little more closer to the period. It's a very deep mouthpiece. Um, and it's got some really cool engraving on it. I don't know if I can get the camera to focus. Um, intricate little mouthpiece there. Made by Khan. And you will notice... This is part of the problem with the original mouthpiece. That this is a short shank versus the Bach, which is a long shank for newer cornets. So, we can try out the Liberati. And it at least resonates a little bit stronger uh, in the, the lower notes there. I still didn't like it. Oop. Tuning bit. So I stopped in and I found out that I could buy this mouthpiece. Uh, this is a Dillon JBA. Uh, so I stopped into Dillon's shop to ask around. Uh, so apparently Mr. Dillon had some old mouthpieces uh, remanufactured to copy their design. So this is a copy of the mouthpiece that was used by Arben himself. JBA Arben. Um, so it was his mouthpiece. They copied it, although I did, uh, they did say that there was some modification in the shank design. Uh, they used a slightly different taper so that it would work on both modern and uh, antique cornets. You can see this is a short shank also. And I like the way that this one works with this particular horn. about finding the right mouthpiece to go with the horn. Uh, this is a fairly, fairly deep cup. Um, you know, I can try and show you just about how far down in there we can reach uh, compared to, say, the Bach that doesn't even cover my fingernail. Um, so, it works fairly well.
This is a J.W. Pepper cornet from around the turn of the century. Um, you can see there's some really nice engraving on the bell. Uh, some little flowery details that extend all the way up around where the valves are. If we take a look on the other side, you can see all of these little furls around the... Uh, the joints there also have some real nice little details in them, uh, marking them out. Uh, and it's also interesting too, the, the spit valve on this uh, is a leaf spring. Um, if you take a close look at that, that is just a little piece of metal up in there uh, to push it back into position. Um, uh, now the, I haven't polished up the interior of the bell yet, there's a lot of black marks still in there. Um, it, I think it might actually be a gold wash. Um, so I'm not sure if it's that or if the silver is worn down to the brass. Um, but uh, it might be a gold wash in there. So I haven't been too aggressive at cleaning that up yet. Uh, just to try it out. So this is the JW Pepper Cornet. And I like using this Dillon JBA mouthpiece with it in high pitch. Um, so, oh, well, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this cornet, and um, please uh, like uh, and make any comments down below, and uh, see you next time. Take care.